Hi, this is Dan Marino with you here from Color Grading Central. In this video tutorial, I'll be sharing with you a technique for dialing your looks to taste. In other words, I'm going to share with you a looks creation strategy where you can fine tune each element of the look for precision control. It's especially useful in client sessions where we can quickly adjust the intensity of the look with one control. So let's jump right in so I can show you. In our example here of our talent sitting on the couch, we'll first begin by performing basic color correction in the first node. Okay, now we'll add another node where we can begin creating our look. Now here's the strategy. We want to designate or earmark each node as a different element to the look. Go extreme with each adjustment, then dial back that adjustment to taste. In the first node here of our look, I'll add a contrast adjustment with a clean S curve. Now you'll see here that I've gone extreme with it, but that's okay. That's a key part of the strategy because I can always easily dial it back. But if I need to add more, I'd have to adjust the curve some more. And instead of doing that, I'll show you a better way. Now we won't dial it back just yet, so I'll disable the node for the time being. Next for the color treatment, in the next node, I'll add a look. Again, I'm going extreme with it, anticipating that I'll dial it back later, so I'm going to push it a really long ways. Okay, now I'll disable that one and move on. Now I want to have clean shadows and highlights, so in the next node, I'll use the chroma dark and light preset. As you can see, it pulled a key on the shadows and highlights and reduced all the saturation so that I'll have clean shadows and highlights, but of course you can see it's too extreme at this point. So I'll disable this one and move on. And now as a final touch, we're jumping a little bit ahead here in our tutorials, but I'll add focus to the talent by relighting the scene. I'll draw a shape around the talent. and then bring up the exposure. Again, going extreme with it. Jumping to the outside of the shape with the Add Outside button on the Wave Panel, I'll bring down the exposure surrounding him. And then I'll go back and add some softness to the shape so it's a little more subtle. Of course it's not very subtle at this point because of the extreme adjustment, but that's exactly what we want because we're going to be dialing it back. Okay, now we're to the point where the strategy begins to pay off and you'll see how powerful this technique is. Going back to the node with the contrast adjustment, I'll turn it on, and then to dial it back. I'll press the up-down buttons on the wave panel simultaneously so that it brings up a contextual menu. And then pressing the button labeled as key, it'll take us to the keying menu. Now by adjusting the post-mixing gain knob you see here, we can dial back the amount of the contrast until we're satisfied with it. Essentially what we're doing here is adjusting the opacity of the adjustment the same as a Photoshop artist would. On the user interface, we find the same control under the key tab and then under post mixing. Adjusting the gain slider, we're accomplishing the same exact thing. Adjusting the knob, you can see its correspondence here. I personally like to use the knob because it has a fine fill adjustment to it. This is really awesome stuff. Continuing on to the other nodes, I'll enable the color treatment and adjust it to taste. There, yeah, that looks good. Now I'll enable the chroma light and dark node and adjust it to taste. Okay, I think that looks good for the shadows and highlights. And finally, I'll fine tune the lighting adjustment until we're getting some nice focus.
In conclusion, this is a really powerful technique for creating looks. The key is to create different nodes for each look adjustment, go extreme with it, and then dial it to the right taste. As I mentioned before, it's easier to go too far and to come back than to go too little and then have to do a bunch of adjustments to add more intensity to the look. This is a much simpler way to do it. Furthermore, it's really helpful for supervised sessions where you can quickly adjust an element for the client with one single twist of a knob. And we can also save the looks in our stills library and apply it to the other clips and have all of the built-in fine-tune adjustments so that we can quickly make our shots match with the look applied. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it particularly useful. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments or by emailing me. Thanks for watching.